Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to Bad Guy Please. Welcome back to this game, where it is Mass Effect Andromeda. And I forgot the name of the game there for a moment. Oh, sorry. I've just been. I've had some. I've saved. I was trapped. I was saved. I opened the door. I saved. No extra mass in the bathroom. Phew. 70 kilos is a lot to flush away. Yep, it is. Uh, so I've saved, I've be, I've gone, I've saved. You're taking I'm the back. Andara, old man. Strong, honorable survivors. Everything here looks normal. No while, stowaways, no common, extra mass. Friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh yeah, you lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold from being so squishy. They know they're, they're mostly, mostly water. Don't let Ryder hear you. Do it. Hey, Carl. Bridges four, engine rooms aft, med bay starboard. Smart stuff up front, powers in back. Okay. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech mm. welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I... Oops. Sorry. And I'm in the console. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Here. Up we go! Because we're doing this again. Because... It fucked off when I... Again? I'll lend you 30 if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. How's it going? Uh, still nothing? Okay. We'll talk I later. should get back to things. Sounds good. She is my hair clone. Okay, do I have any more emails? Uh, free for interview. Ramtech. Uh... Probably I'll go talk to. Him. Got a plan. So I'm gonna... Okay. Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. Yes. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. <laughs> she broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. Wow. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Now that's dedication. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Uh, Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Rika, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Oh, She's only saying that because she never met me. Take yeah. care of my ship <laughs> and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. So we are such stuff as dreams are made of, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. Yep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. Yep. We found a thing. Okay, uh... Let's go talk to Liam. Is that him? I'm not playing with you. Okay. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. 
Sounds like fun. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. That's how it's done. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? Five time. Thanks. Okay. Everyone will appreciate it. Looks like I'm heading back to the Nexus. But there is one thing I want to do first because that caused the game to crash last time. Okay, nothing new. Uh, yep, the plants are growing. Nice. What's this? It is a draw. Draws Chris. Not a clue what that is, but I'm sure I'll find out eventually. To the bridge. Now, oh, first things first. Okay, loading. Mission successful. Okay. Scout the unknown. 38% chance of success. Uh, over 11 hours. No, no, it requires an hour and 45, but it's players. Hmm. Identify the spell. An hour and a half. Okay. There you go. Not enough yet, that's fine. Uh, do I have any junk to sell? No, I don't. Okay. Strike team ready for deployment. No, it's not. Okay, uh, okay. since we tried that earlier, nothing's doing. It's not doing, so. Up something. Large rose of course. Zoom in. There you go. Now pause. Wait, well. So you used to have for Mass Effect. Oh. Yes, it's that one. That's what caused me the bother. Because I was exploring this system, just, you know, checking it out, having a look-see, and the game crashed, meaning I had to load up from a previous save, which this is. Oh, there's the anomaly, I can see it already. I think it's a cat satellite. Anomaly detected. I saw it. Probe away. Satellite detected. Yep. Alias research data. There you go. That's all I wanted. And it fucked up somehow. Anomaly detected. I'll come back and I'll finish this. Oh, wow. God. Wow. Good few places to go now. Also need to do the first murderer thing, so let's do that. Let's get that done and out the way. Oh. 
excuse me. So, is it finished yet? Nope. Yes, let us... Let us dock. So, this was going to be... The Andromeda version of the Citadel. Hmm, interesting. You. Come on. Let's get you away. Just get some hot air out without damaging anything. I can hear it. Okay. Watch your tone. Well, I'm holding V. I can't wait to be assigned to an outpost. This place is amazing. What them doing? Nice to see you again. This is the first time you've seen me. I'll keep these in mind. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks now. That's a hell of a bad camera angle. I founded the outpost. I didn't decide who would stay in stasis. You don't care that you've torn families apart? That's not what I said. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. What? What? I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay, I'll talk to them. I'll talk to them. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. 14 months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her. Uh, Start with Kandros. He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Plan before Crow. Any word? Okay. Okay. All I want to do. For your safety. Bullshit. Okay. Well. 
Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. Yep, that's one word for it. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Oh, well, you know, give it to my ship, I'll mm. help. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on EOS disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters That's... want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources and there's nowhere to put them. There's a whole planet out there. We settled Eos. There's no space down there for a few extra. It's not that simple, Ryder. Everything Eos produces right now is accounted for. And if we send soldiers to a research outpost, there'll be trouble. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we Just must. Just one options, yeah. If they resist, a few might land in Med Bay, but it's better than losing hydroponics or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. Go on. These people aren't the enemy. We didn't come all this way to rip families apart. You see? We'll manage the resource squeeze somehow. Your compassion is admirable, but... Guess we're all tightening our belts. You can run a stasis override command from operations. I hope the rest will be that easy. Why the hell... Well, those families are out of stasis. I know, because we're cutting rations for Apex. My decision's made, Kandros. And now everyone thinks protesting is how we get stuff done. Excuse me. Yep. Probably lost an ally with that, but... Pathfinder. ADP leveling continues as per your directions. Right. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Okie dokie. Sweet protocol and the process. Now we are living. Uh, yeah. Another time. Oops. Pathfinder. Okay. Talk to her. Yes, Pathfinder? How are we doing on the viability front? Struggling. Need I remind you that viability isn't abstract, it's lives, our foothold. Get out there, Ryder. Pathfind. We're dying. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? We send them where you signal, because that's where the need is. There's no time for preference. Jesus. Director Addison. Pathfinder. I think I've made some enemies here. That's how I does things. Who's? Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. Okay. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. Is everything okay? Oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. Uh -huh. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. Yep. My team and I surveyed EOS thoroughly and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks yep. must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? Mm. What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. What I'm not the funny? one history cares about. 
I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. Mm. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. Spend time with the team. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. You're welcome. Do I do? Hello. Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. Yep. It was amazing. A culture we'd never met before in a brand new galaxy. Nope. I was just glad to be part of it. It's a, brand, it's a brand moment new? to savor. In the Milky Way, first contact was a rare event. In the meantime, I am eager to forge diplomatic yes. ties with the Angaran people. We need any allies we can get. Did you have some other business? Uh, anything on Nexus? Sounds troubles? like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Wow. Even the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, is dead. Holy How crap. did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Oh, boy. That's Candor's bad. mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There that kind of thinking is what dictatorships are created from. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you wow. like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. Yeah, I've been there. I've My seen it. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Maybe. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here to serve. Damn right, bitch. Okay. Let's I guess this is your place now. Everything we achieve will be seen here. It's not just my place. The whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. Yep. New outpost. A path oh, some Normandy. People waking up. It's a fresh start. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. If you happen to have a pathfinder really? around. Can't always rely on luck. From here, it's hard work. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Yep. What's the normal idea? Yeah. <laughs> I do not. Secretly acquired blueprints of the Norm SSV Normandy SR2, a stealth frigate based on designs co-developed by the Systems Alliance and the Turian Hierarchy, and built by Cerberus. The SR2 was built by Cerberus, if you remember. Hmm. Oh. 
Okay. Well, old man, we're getting there. Put in a good word for me. Okay, so we're at seventy-eight percent viability on EOS. We want to do better. Talk to that one. That's fine. Um, the Archon. Hmm. Don't get along. Yes. Okay, and... Okay, what am I going to find the... Get a movie. Yeah, okay. Um. Does it go up? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, actually. Nice. You're already sick if there's puke on the floor, mate. Okay, let's talk to this guy, because I want to do this first murder thing. But we will do that in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Have a bankai. Have a good day.